One of the results of poor operation is broken tools. The best operating technique to avoid broken tools is fully penetrate the material. If your hammer and tool do not fully penetrate the material, do not use the hammer as a pry bar and try to break the material manually with the hammer. Pull it out vertically and reposition the tool. The operating technique shown here is at a 45 degree angle. This is called side loading. It leads to premature failures of the main components inside the hammer. This is an example of bad operating techniques at the wrong angle into the material. So when greasing the hammer, it's very important to select the right type of grease. You want to be using cat hammer paste. Cat hammer paste is like a high temp anti-seize. It's there to protect the tool and the bushings from the high heats that are seen inside the uh, hammer. If you use any other type of grease, like a molly or multi-purpose type of grease, you probably end up with premature failure of your tools and your bushings. One of the most damaging things to a hammer would be the piston striking the tool and there's no material underneath the tool. This is known as blank firing. Even the best operators cannot protect against blank firing 100%. That is why we integrated automatic shutoff, which prevents the piston from striking the tool when there's no material underneath it. Thank <laughs> you.